Hey everyone, so we've just added a new calculator to the site. It's our True Odds calculator. It's really easy to use, but I thought I would make a quick video just explaining the basics of it. So you can see here with the columns for the bookmaker odds, the implied probability, the true probability, and the true odds. Uh, and down the bottom, we're going to calculate the over round, which is the margin that the bookmaker adds to the market to make the profit. Uh, and we'll get a couple of totals here. I'll explain that a bit more later. But you can see that the only fields that you have to fill in are the bookmaker odds. So I'm going to give you an example. The first one, I'm going to have a look at sports bet here. Um, the Australian Open Tennis is on right now. Sportsbet, I've got a great promotion for it, but in exchange, they're offering terrible, terrible odds. Uh, and this is probably the worst example of it. Um, we've got a head-to-head -head market with odds of 1.83 and 1.72. So I'm going to put that into the calculator. And you can see that that gives a, there's an over round on that market of 12.78%. Uh, that's pretty huge for a head-to-head -head market. And when we look at what the true odds should be based on the, the formulas that we, we run on this calculator, we can see that that 1.83 should really be 2.06 and the 1.72 should be 1.94. Uh, I should point out that we're calling this the true odds. This is what the bookmaker thinks the true odds are. Obviously, uh, Betfair is generally more accurate in terms of getting the actual true odds, but when we don't have a bet Betfair market available uh, to compare it to, or maybe there's not a lot of liquidity in Betfair, this is a really good way of getting an estimate of what the true odds are, and that should help with calculating expected value and things like that. So, as I said, this is a, an example of a really terrible overround that Sportsbet have um, on their markets right now. Um, if we were looking at uh, a market that had more than two selections available, so let's say uh, a match odds on soccer, for example, we can just click here and it's going to add another row for us. Um, and just for a, a little comparison, uh, I'm going to look at Unibet. So Unibet are known for having good odds, particularly on soccer, and we can compare them with Bet Deluxe, who are known for having pretty terrible odds. So we'll do the Unibet one first. Um, I was looking at this game here, Sheffield Wednesday versus Wickham Wanderers. I will get 1.94, 3.55, and 3.95. So let's just do that quickly. So you can see here is the three-way market and Unibet have got a 5% over around this. is pretty reasonable. Uh, obviously, that's how they're making their money. And we can then see that the true odds were about 2.04, 3.73, and 4.15. So that gives us an idea of what it should be. Then we can compare that to Bet Deluxe. They're 193.40, So just do this. And you can see, as expected, Bet Deluxe are adding a lot more of a margin onto their market. They've got an 8% over around there. Um, the true odds, pretty similar. There's, there's some differences. Um, as I said, it is based on what the bookmaker thinks the true odds should be rather than what they really are. Um, but you'll find that once you remove the over around from these markets, all bookmakers are going to be in the same ballpark. So that gives you a good um, estimate of what the true odds should be. And we can add as many bookmakers as we want here. So maybe you want to do a half time full time or a correct score market. However many selections are in that market, you can just keep adding rows and adding the data and it'll work out the complete over round and, and the true odds for those selections. And you can just remove them over here. So as I said, it's, it's really straightforward to use. Um, I think you'll find it useful, especially uh, when trying to calculate EV and that kind of thing. If you've got any questions or any suggestions about the calculator, please let us know. Um, and I hope you enjoy using it. All right, cheers, guys.